So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to install a Windows 32 application using Intune. Now to do that, I have my destination or client machine here. So there's a clean install of Windows 10. The only thing I've done is gone and joined it to Azure AD. So let's go in and just verify it is still connected to Azure AD. Go into access work or school and you'll see, yes, it is connected to my Azure AD. So then what we need to do is swap across to another machine that we can go and configure um, the application ready and push it down from Intune. So the first thing you'll need to do is go and get the executable that you need to go and do the install. In this case, I've cho chosen to do Adobe Acrobat Reader. You can go to this URL here and obviously go in and select your operating system and then select your language as well. And then you can uh, select the most current version and you would download that uh, to your environment. I've already done that. The other thing that you'll need to go is go and grab this Microsoft Win32 content prep tool. This is available at GitHub at the URL that is noted up the top there. Now, once we have that, that will uh, then be placed onto our local machine. So if we go in, we put these both in a directory. What I'm going to do now is run a command uh, and this will basically uh, take that um, executable from the vendor and package it up so we can use it uh, with Intune. So the command there is that Intune Win app util uh, and that was utility downloaded from that Microsoft GitHub repo. So if I hit enter, you'll see that it'll go off and it'll prompt me to so look, that directory doesn't exist that I want to put the result in. So I'll say, yes, I'll create that. And you'll notice that it's going and effectively building uh, a file here that can be used and uploaded into Intune. That will take a little while here while it does that. Um, the time it takes to do that will depend obviously on the size of the file. This one shouldn't take too long. Remember, this is around a 200 meg uh, file here. So it's pretty quick when it goes through that process. All right, so that's done. So if we have a look now, you'll see that we have a directory there uh, into which that will be placed. And if we have a look, you'll see there is the file there with the intune dot, um, the dot intune win extension. So that's going to be the file that we need to upload into our endpoint manager environment to configure this. So I've already logged into the tenant, uh, the endpoint manager for the tenant, as you see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to apps and then uh, what I'm going to do is select the option to go into all apps, as you see, and I'm going to go in and add a new app here. Now from the selection, I will pull down the options and then you'll see down the bottom here, I have this win app win 32. That's what I'm going to select and I'll go select there and it's going to take me through this uh, process. Now, the first thing to do is select this app package. All right, now this is the file that we just created uh, from the command prompt. So what we'll need to do is go into that directory, uh, the one that was created, and there's our Intune Win file. Let us select that. Now, that is going to take uh, a little while, obviously, to upload. So we've got 200 meg here. So what we need to do is hit OK. We will just have to, uh, again, fill in the rest of this. So what is uh, the name of this going to be? So what we're going to do is give it a uh, more descriptive name here. So we're going to go in and call this uh, Acrobat Reader. And we will also uh, go in here and edit the description and make that the same just to keep it consistent. Let's go OK there. All right, so the publisher obviously is going to be uh, whoever the supplier is. In this case, it's a vendor, the vendor being Adobe. So we can go in and complete the rest of the information here if we want. It's not mandatory. All right, so what I'm going to do is go next, go into the next little area here. Now, the install command is something that you'll probably have to go and work out specifically for the app. Uh, my advice to you would be, uh, is to go and have a look um, out there on the web, find the actual installer. So this is basically uh, the same as you know going and uh, running it um, on the uh, command line there, uh, if you wish to do that. So I've gone and pasted uh, that in, and that again is just an uh, executable that would run at the command prompt. Uh, so again, you can readily find that on the web. The uninstall command likewise is uh, basically going to uh, be a very similar style command. You're going to typically have to 
go out and find out what that is um, on the web for that particular application. In this case, I know it is going to be uh, that command there. So again, uh, go in and set that. So I'm going to uh, set the behavior to system. So that means, again, if we go over the mouse here, all right, so again, if you want to do the user install, uh, you can do that, but generally you'll set that uh, to uh, system there. We're going to leave the uh, app install may force the device reset. You may want to uh, control that so the uh, machine isn't forced to reboot if it has to. And we will then go in and complete any of the uh, return codes if we want. In this case, we can leave these uh, as they are. We're happy with those uh, that we want. All right, so now what we want to do is go in here and select the operating system architecture to 64-bit uh, install. The minimum uh, operating system here is, let's just go in and make it something simple like uh, 1803. You can vary that if you want. And if you want, you can put in a number of uh, different options as you can see here, but I'm just going to proceed through and keep it uh, fairly simple. So what I'll do here is I'll select the option to manly, manually configure the uh, detection rules. All right, so again, we can detect whether the app uh, is uh, already uh, on there. And what we're going to do is we're just gonna tell uh, the Intune here where to go in and look for the file to see if it's already there. So we don't wanna necessarily install multiple versions or get caught in a loop. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and tell it to go and look in this path. And we know the path after the install is going to be this. All right. And again, the uh, file that we'll be looking for is a file called rord32.exe. Uh, so it's going to basically look in this path for this file to see whether it is there. And if it is, that's going to determine that. Uh, that software is um, already uh, on the machine. So we'll pull down here and the texture mesh method is going to be whether that file or folder already exists. All right, and again, we're going to also associate uh, with the 32-bit app as well. So we'll go OK there. So what that's doing, as I mentioned, is just gonna verify to see whether the software is already uh, on that client device. So we'll go in here, there are no uh, dependencies that we need to worry about for this application. There is no supersedence that we need to uh, worry about uh, in this case. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to assign it either required or available uh, for our environment. So what we'll do here is we will add uh, a group here, all right, that we know that um, the device lives in. All right, so we'll go in here and select this. You'll see that you've also got the ability here to select um, all users and all devices uh, if you want, and that will show up the settings there. Now you'll note down the bottom here, we've also got the capability to uninstall. So we can force an uninstall, and that's why we had to put in the uninstall uh, command previously. But in this case, I'm just gonna focus on uh, installing it on uh, that client machine. So with that, uh, I will then verify that everything is good. I will then create, it's going to create uh, that application. We'll see that now appear in our um, Intune. We can go in here if we want and we can go in and make uh, any changes as always with any policy there in Intune. And again, if we uh, go back here, we'll be able to uh, see that it will appear. Now you'll note in the top corner here that it is uploading that package to Intune and that will take uh, a time depending on your bandwidth. So it needs to upload that package we created uh, and compiled, put that into Intune so it can be then pushed down from the cloud. So we'll have to be a bit patient and wait for that application to fully upload and that upload will vary on the uh, size of uh, that file that we want to install. So what we'll do is we'll just pause the video, we'll let that process, that upload process finish, uh, and then we'll come back and see. All right, so you'll see here now that our Acrobat Reader has uh, finished doing its upload. It didn't take too long to complete that. And then if I go in here and refresh, you'll see here is my Adobe Acrobat Win32, which is the app I have just added. You'll see that it is assigned and ready to go. So what we need to do now is basically pop over to our uh, host machine here, basically uh, have a look at our uh, destination machine and we will see that it will uh, basically do an install. 
next time it polls the policy. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to force this uh, and make it hopefully run a little bit quicker. So I'll go into my change settings here. I will go into my access work and school. I will go into the info here. And in this case, just to speed things along, I'm going to go in here and uh, not create a report. I'm going to go in here and basically force a sync. All right, so with that running uh, in the background there, we will just uh, basically pause and wait for that. Firstly, for the policy to be applied and then obviously that installation process to complete. Now we're not going to see anything on the machine here. Uh, what it's going to do is going to do that silently. That's the way we set up uh, the installs with this uh, minimal user interaction. And again, that may take a moment or two, obviously, to uh, firstly sync the policy from Intune and then go in and deploy that application. Once that's done, we'll go in and have a look at the machine. So our expectation is, is once that process, uh, installation process has complete, uh, we will see you know, the icon and the availability of that application, in this case, Adobe on our machine ready to go. So what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and allow that process to complete. And we'll come back and have a look at the end result here. So we'll see here that when the process uh, commences, if we go in, you'll see you get a notification here uh, about the uh, Intune uh, basically applying uh, its software distribution capability. So that's currently being uh, installed on the machine. So maybe if we go in and have a look at Task Manager, we'll be able to uh, see this, this happening in the background. All right, so you'll see here if we go in and watch this, uh, you'll be able to, again, see some of those processes taking place. And then what we should see uh, kick off when that is done, we'll see it basically doing uh, an install of that uh, Acrobat software. So again, let's just put this over here so we can see the uh, desktop and let's just keep an eye on uh, things here in Task Manager and see what happens. Okay, so if you look at our Task Manager here, you'll see that we've got this uh, Microsoft Management Service kicking in. All right, and now you'll see that Adobe has appeared, so it's bringing that down. It's now actually running a silent Adobe uh, install in the background as expected. Uh, so it has basically downloaded the capability uh, to deploy applications uh, with Intune. It's put some services on there. We'll have a look at that shortly. Once that's complete, then it's going to basically go and do the uh, Acrobat install. All right, so you'll see here that it's uh, running in the background. So we'll wait for that process to complete. Once that's done, we should see that uh, Ad Acrobat Reader is uh, on our system as expected. So there we have it. The icon has appeared uh, on our desktop there. So we should be able to uh, basically go in and run our Acrobat Reader now. Double click on that. And yes, indeed, it does uh, go in there and run uh, basically as expected. All right, so we'll accept that and we'll close out of that. Then what we're going to do is just go in and have a look um, at the services that now reside on this machine. So again, if we go in here and have a look at services, uh, we will see, and we also get a prompt down the bottom here that our uh, Intune uh, software distribution has completed. So again, we get an indication when that starts uh, in there. So let's just close that. Now, if we scroll down our list here what we should find um, under here is what we're looking for actually it's probably called uh, Microsoft here it is so here is the service that has been added here so this Microsoft Intune management extension so basically that is what Intune added to the machine so that now allows you to do that uh, software distribution if you need to so in summary, what we did is we basically uh, went and um, had an Azure, you know, an Azure AD uh, join machine. And then basically what we did is we then uh, went to a management machine. We downloaded the application that we needed. We also uh, downloaded the uh, Microsoft uh, Win32 content prep tool. We then went out and prepared that using uh, that command line option that I uh, mentioned. And then we went into our endpoint manager and we 
selected the option to add and we then selected the option for Windows app th Win32, and followed the bouncing ball and put in the information required, applied that or assigned that to a group and then that was pushed out uh, when the policy refreshed uh, to all our users. Now, remember what you'll need to do is make sure that you get the correct executable to do the install in the background from the vendor. You'll need to know what the install and the uninstall commands are, plus a few other little bits and pieces, and that is going to depend it on the application you've used. In this case, I've shown you how to do it with Adobe, uh, but all the others are very similar. You're just gonna get those right commands, put it in there, and allow you to go in and do an install if you wish. So with all that, I hope you've got some benefit out of watching the video and thank you very much for viewing it.